there is a standoff between Universal Music Group and the Chinese company TikTok. Not many people probably realise as they use TikTok every day that it is a Chinese company. But our tech correspondent, Jess Kelly, is going to explain all. Mm. Jess, good morning. Good morning. So what's the standoff? The standoff, and it's been a long running one. So three years ago, the Universal Music Group, which represents some of the biggest artists in the world. Taylor Swift. Billie Eilish, any of the big stars uh, in most cases are signed to Universal Group. And three years ago, they signed a deal with TikTok that would give uh, users of TikTok access to their music library and their artists. And they would get a small fee every time it is played. So just to give people a bit of context here, for example, when we play a a song here on News Talk, we put that into a database and it gets registered with uh, Commission Naman and you know you keep track of everything. Imro yeah. uh, keeps track of everything, every song gets played, so artists get a cut. T- uh, TikTok and music, they are synonymous with one another. If you open the TikTok app now, within a millisecond, a song will play and it can be a song by U2, very often it's a song by Taylor Swift, any of these big artists and you have a mix of, w- of ways in which they are used. Back in the day, it used just to be people were dancing. During or lip syncing. Or lip syncing. Yeah. So during the pandemic, for example, uh, the weekend's blinding lights, there was a viral dance that everyone and his mother were doing on TikTok. And it really brought that song to prominence. And then when the weekend did the Super Bowl, everybody knew the song because they had seen it on TikTok. So there's no denying that there, it's a good exposure mechanic for artists. Uh, We're also seeing some younger artists and certain sounds and sort of snippets of songs. If you're a singer-songwriter, you can upload a snippet of your song, add it to a sound to be used on TikTok, and then all of a sudden you could be on Good Morning America playing in front of a live national audience because your sound has gone viral. So it's a great mechanic for people to discover new music and indeed utilise older songs as well. All right, so uh, the artists, um, uh, you know, who are trying to make a breakthrough, they might see TikTok as a promo vehicle. Yes. The maturer artists, uh, the U2s of the world, the Taylor Swifts of the world, are thinking, hang on a second, um, our music is selling anyone, everyone knows our music, and it's being exploited here by TikTok for a pittance. Yeah, and the the financial uh, side is just one aspect of this. There's also uh, queries and questions in, and protections required in relation to AI. So just to give you a quick stat here, Universal Music Group says that the revenue that comes in from TikTok, despite TikTok having billions of users, is only 1% of what Universal Group makes in a year. Now, having this is purely anecdotal, but every time I scroll through TikTok, all you're seeing is the likes of Harry Styles, who's a UMG uh, artist, Taylor Swift, all of the artists I mentioned a second ago. So from that point of view, it's a bit bananas. And so they're saying if you compare all the other sources of revenue, the Spotify's, the Apple Music, yeah. all of these uh, sources of revenue, TikTok, where music is ubiquitous, mm. is only contributing 1%. Yes. And they're saying this is wrong. Yes, and you know, uh, Universal Music Group have published a letter essentially calling times uh, time out against TikTok because they're saying that this new deal that was due to be signed by the end of today is offering a fraction of what had been agreed three years ago. So if it's at 1% today, it's going to be even smaller if this deal goes ahead. So uh, they're saying we're going to pull our catalogue. What does that mean in effect? Because uh, the stuff already out there on TikTok that people can access, Mm. does it mean it all has to be withdrawn? Yeah, it'll just disappear. We've seen examples of this before. This isn't the first instance where either individual artists or big labels have take an issue with whether it is TikTok or Instagram Reels, that type of thing. Um, And the the music uh, catalogue just disappears. This is something that's similar. uh, Taylor Swift years ago pulled her music from Apple Music. Beyonce did the same thing when she was launching Tidal Music. So the artists do have great sway. The issue, though, is that it's those big artists, the ones that, as you said, Mm. they don't need to do an interview to sell a gig because people are clamouring to get to them already. if they get more money, so too does the little guy. Yes, but if you look at the stats, and I was reading this morning, I think TikTok play, uh, pays 0.003 US cent per play. Okay. So if you are a little artist and if you're getting 30 plays or even 300 yeah. plays, you're not going to retire on that. You're not going to do a Taylor Swift era style tour. So I think the issue of money is a big one. But also the Universal Music Group has expressed concerns around AI. 
because TikTok, as we know, are uh, very big in terms of filters, in terms of effects that you can put on videos. And they are more and more stepping into the world of AI. And there have there's talk that there are plans uh, about AI prompting you how to write your own song, create your own song. Mm. Uh, Which, of course, is like a... At the model um, upon, upon which uh, Chat GPT is mm. based, which was reading the New York Times. Yeah. So it's looking at everybody's songs, Ed Sheeran's songs, U2 songs, so on, and kind of using AI to isolate the tricks. Yeah, essentially it. And I think, you know, there's also been talk, I've read some reports that uh, TikTok may actually launch its own streaming service akin to Spotify or Apple Music, which makes sense because if you are under the age of 20, chances are TikTok is not only where you go to, you know, see what your friends are up to or to get your news, which is a huge thing. It's also where you go to watch TV. Like it's your form of entertainment. They don't watch uh, yeah. the 6-1 or anything like that. They go to TikTok for everything. And the, the model of social media has always been to try and keep you on that platform for as long as humanly possible. And so if you don't have to go into Spotify to listen to your music, if you can do it all through TikTok, that makes sense. Okay, two giants at war, uh, locking horns uh, and the deadline is today. What's yeah. going to happen, do you think? I honestly don't know. I don't see... TikTok, uh, you know, all of a sudden offering to pay $5 per stream for every artist. I also don't know that they will back down from the AI plans that they have. So I do think it's one to watch. There may be, a, a you know, a, a very late in the day compromise somewhere along the, the, the line. I do think, again, the user is the one who's going to lose yeah. out the most if they can't play I their favourite songs. Thing, uh, Jess, you know the way uh, the US uh, turned on Huawei because yes. of the Chinese infiltration, shall we say. Mm. Um, is the US turning against TikTok? You know, poisoning the minds of the young people, manipulating them if they're getting their news feeds from TikTok, etc, etc, etc. Yeah, TikTok is co uh, coming under huge pressure and it has been for quite a while because as much as we give out about uh, X and Facebook and Instagram in terms of regulation and transparency, uh, the content that is up on TikTok can be quite worrying. There have been numerous cases uh, in the US in particular where you know individuals have died in dangerous, tragic circumstances because they've been competing in challenges, for example. I do think that as we approach the presidential election, this tool could be used and abused by those who want to get a certain narrative out there onto the platform and into the ears and the eyes of younger people. So absolutely regulation is a huge thing. Uh, we do know that uh, government officials and uh, officials working in different government bodies around the world were told not to have TikTok on their phone. So there are absolutely sec uh, security concerns there. But I do think the content concerns are ones to watch as well because it is such a young demographic. And there is the element of it being a bit of a free-for-all.